If you're wondering how you can create a logo using Affinity Designer, then you're in the right place. Hi there everyone, my name is Andre Marius. I've been working with vector editing softwares for over 10 years. And in this Envato.as Plus tutorial, I'll put my experience to use as I show you step by step how you can create this lightning bolt logo using Affinity Designer. Before we begin, make sure to check out Envato Elements where you can get unlimited downloads of stock videos, music, graphics, photos, fonts, and many more. All ready to use and with simple commercial licensing. Plus, no lock in contract, which means that you can cancel anytime. If you haven't done it already, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Remember to check that little bell icon to be notified of any new tutorials. Let's start the work on the logo. So create a new document. Start by setting the width and the height to 850 pixels. Make sure that the resolution is set to 300. Keep the rest of the settings as they come and click this button to create your new document. First of all, you need to enable the grid. If you don't have it already enabled, you need to go to view and show grid. Then make sure that the snap to grid is enabled. And for this tutorial, you need a grid line every 10 pixels. So let's go to view, grid and axis manager, switch to the basic mode and set the spacing to 10 pixels. Click this button. And now that your grid is set, you can start by selecting the ellipse tool from your toolbar. Remember that you can hold down the shift key as you click and drag to easily create a perfect circle. Make it 310 pixels wide. Then click these two buttons to move your circle to the center of the artboard. And then focus on the appearance studio. If you can't see the appearance studio, you can easily open it by going to view, studio and appearance. So let's remove the fill color. Move to the stroke and first of all, increase the width to eight points. Align the stroke to inside and then click the color of the stroke to replace the color with a gradient. Just click this gradient slider and then the color wheel. Switch to RGB sliders and replace this color with 13, 81 and 248. And then move to this other gradient slider. Again, click the color wheel and replace the color with 45, 142 and 245. Now that you've got this gradient, let's adjust the angle. Select the fill tool from your toolbar. Remember to select stroke from this drop drop menu. And now you can adjust the angle of your gradient somewhat like this. Once you're done, you need to return to the appearance panel, right click the stroke and duplicate it. Focus on this new stroke and first of all, lower the width to four points and then focus on your design and let's adjust the gradient that's already applied. Now you can press Ctrl M plus several times to zoom in on your design. Select the rectangle tool from your toolbar. Use it to create a 160 by 60 pixels rectangle. Select the stroke and remove the color. Move to the fill and set the color to 248, 220 and 2. Then use the move tool to place your rectangle in this exact position. Convert it to curves using this button and then switch to the node tool, which we'll use to add some extra points to this shape. Start with the bottom side of this rectangle and count 60 pixels from this point. So 20, 40, and 60. Just click once to add one anchor point and then focus on the top side of your rectangle and this time count from this point 70 pixels. So 20, 40, 60, 70. Again, click once to add one more anchor point. Now that you have these extra points, let's select just this point. Hold down the shift key as you click and drag to constrain the movement of your point. And let's go 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 40, 
and 160 pixels up and then go 120 pixels to the right. Once you're done, continue with this point, select it and drag it 160 pixels down and 130 pixels to the left. This will be your main lightning bolt shape. Next, you need to reselect your circle and expand it to get a shape for each of these strokes. So go to layer and expand stroke. As you can see in the layer studio, now you have a shape for each of those strokes. Reselect your yellow shape and press Ctrl C to copy it and then Ctrl V to add a copy in the same place. Keep this copy selected and for the beginning, remove the fill color. Continue with the stroke and make it black. Increase the width to 8 points and align the stroke to center. Again, expand this stroke by going to layer and expand stroke. Press Ctrl C and Ctrl V to add a copy of this black shape. Keep this copy selected and hold down the shift key to add to your selection this larger circle. Move to your toolbar and click this subtract button and then select this other black shape along with the remaining blue circle and click this same button. Select the remaining lightning bolt shape and add a new copy in front by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Keep this copy selected and switch to the node tool so that you can select these two points. Remember that you need to hold down the shift key to add more than one anchor point to your selection and then drag these two points 30 pixels down and 40 pixels to the left like this. Now select just this point and move it an extra 10 pixels to the left. And then you need to fill this shape with a linear gradient. You can reverse this default gradient to keep this gradient slider color and then select this other gradient slider and replace the color with 252. 164 and 2. Now you can use again the fill tool to adjust the angle of this gradient. And when you're done, continue with the pen tool. Use simple clicks to create a shape like this one. First of all, remove the stroke color. Select the fill and use the same linear gradient that you used for the previous shape. And use again the fill tool to adjust the angle of your gradient like this. Reselect the pen tool from your toolbar and let's add one more shape. Fill it with that same linear gradient. And one more time, use the fill tool to adjust the angle of the gradient like this. Finally, let's add a simple background for this logo. Press Ctrl and 0 to zoom back on your entire canvas. Select the rectangle tool and use it to create a shape that covers your entire canvas. Replace this linear gradient with a flat color. Let's make it 35, 31, and 32. You can right click your rectangle and go to arrange and move to back, which will move your rectangle behind your logo. Also disable the grid to have a better look at your logo. Select all the shapes that make up your logo and press Ctrl G to group them. And then click this button to open the layer effects panel and enable the outer shadow. Keep the blending mode set to multiply. Lower the opacity to 20% and increase the offset to 10 pixels. Make sure that the color is set to black and the angle to 270 degrees. And then you can close this panel to apply the effect. With this final touch, your design is complete. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to hit that like button as it lets me know that I did a good job. Subscribe if you are not already and don't forget to click that little bell icon to be notified of any new tutorials. I'm Andre Marius and I'll see you in the next video.